Not a classic one, and I've got it arranged just like Stephen Fuller's color wheel. Because, you know, it's a simple way to think about color, and then you know all, you just know, you know, that uh, if I put this to here with this, I know where to go with my brush, it becomes an automatic thing. Okay, so let's, I'll just use blue, okay? I'm going to use ultramarine blue because I really like ultramarine blue. It's my favorite blue, and I go through, I buy tubes and tubes of this every year. And it looks good on you, too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, all right. Now, I should show you what I'm That's doing. very here. watery. Way more watery I'm than I'm getting it very watery because I'm about to paint the sky. But if I were to paint it like this, now that I've got a lot of brush, a lot of water in my brush, but I mean, that value is too light. Mm. I mean, too dark. dark. I, don't, <laughs> I don't want that. It has to be... A lighter value. Also, here's the other thing I learned. You might just check your water. Your water might be the exact value that you need. See? Mm -hmm. See what I mean? It's, it's just nice and light. Okay, so let's try this one. So I'm going to, all right, so this would be my, let's just say this is my lightest value. And actually I'm making it a little bit darker um, so that you can see it. Okay. And, of course, watercolor, it's hard when it's tipped up. All right, so my next value would be, of course, I know that, so I'm not going to paint it yet because I want to get this mountain in here. Okay, so one of the things I can do when I'm painting the sky, I know that this mountain has a lot of blue in it. I also know that because of aerial perspective, everything that moves away from you is bluer and lighter or grayer. It's not as bright, and there are fewer and fewer details. The farther things are away from you, the, the, the grayer they are. Okay, so knowing that, and since I've already got this brush already mixed up, I can carry that value right on down to the ground mm, because you're going to go on top of because it. I know I'm going to go back over the top but what I have just done by doing that is I'm unifying my ground to my sky see okay so at home I would get out my hair dryer <laughs> and blow it real quickly and I don't know it's kind of humid today so I don't know if this will dry one way to tell things are dry is to use the backs of your fingers, make sure there's no paint on it, and touch it like that. So you don't end up putting fingerprints on wet, you know. You don't want to do that. You want to do this. And it will feel cool. If it feels cool, you know it's still wet. 